Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, I continue solving different problems about uh, parallel lines, triangles, and quadrangles. This is series of the problems number five, and it has, let me see, ten. It's my favorite number, ten different problems. Uh, hopefully they're not very difficult, because I will have to basically solve it on the fly with you. All right, so let's just go on. Position a given segment between the rays that form a given angle perpendicular to one of these rays. Okay, so I have a segment, and I have an angle. I have to position this segment into this angle so that it touches basically both uh, sides of the angle and perpendicular to one of these. Well, here's how we do it. We take this, and on any perpendicular, we measure it. So this is congruent to this. And then I draw a parallel line to this uh, leg of the angle. Now, this is another perpendicular. Now, since these are two perpendiculars to the same uh, line, they're parallel, and these are also parallel because I have constructed it this way. So it's parallelogram, which means this is congruent to this, and that's why to this, and it's perpendicular. Problem solved. Uh, position a given segment between the rays that form a given angle parallel to a given straight line that intersects both legs. So again, you have a segment, you have an angle, and you have some kind of a straight line. So you have to position this segment again between these two legs of the angle, but it should be parallel to this gap. Well, how can we do it? Very easily. We just take this and measure it here, and then draw a parallel line, and then draw a parallel line to this one. So again, this is parallelogram by construction. Now this side is congruent to our segment again because I have constructed it this way, which means this one as well. So it's parallel to this line and equal in length to our initial segment. Problem solved. Easy. Position a given segment between the rays that form a given angle so that the segment between an angle's vertex and each of two ends of this segment are congruent. All right, so again, we have a segment, we have an angle, and we have to construct it in such a way that these two uh, segments are congruent to each other, and this is still congruent to our segment. How to do it? Well, obviously you remember that if you draw a bisector here, it will be perpendicular to uh, any segment which cuts equal uh, equal segments from both legs. Why? Because obviously these triangles AMN and NBP are congruent by side side, angle, angle, this is the bisector, right? So these angles are congruent, and common side. So since they are congruent to each other, and this is 180 degree, it means each one of them is 90. So these are uh, right angles between the bisector and our segment which we need. So basically, what I would like to say is that 
I have the direction, basically. I have the direction uh, into which I have to draw our segment. This direction is perpendicular to the bisector. So what I do, I just take any line perpendicular to it. Basically, I'm reducing the problem to the previous one. So now I have to build, um, I have to construct this particular segment, which is congruent to this one, parallel to this one. And how do I do it? The same way as I did before. I just cut this length, this length, and draw a parallel line. And the point where I get it, that's the one which I need. So this is exactly the same. Now another parallel will actually cut another line, and since it's a perpendicular to a bisector, these two are congruent to each other. Construct a right triangle by one acute angle and opposite catheters. So you have a triangle, and you have a right, um, you have one particular catheter, and you have an angle which is opposite to it. Well, how to construct a triangle? Well, basically very easy. If you have this angle, let's say, you take any point, you build an angle equal to it, and from here you draw a line parallel to this one. Since these are parallel lines, these angles will be congruent as corresponding. This is the, uh, the catheters of, of a given length. So basically, that's exactly the triangle which we need. Construct a triangle by two angles and the side opposite to one of them. OK, so let's analyze it. So you have two angles, let's say this one and this one, and a side opposite to one. Let's say this side is given. How to build a, a triangle in this case? Um, well, let's start from what we know. We just take our segment, whatever is given to us, that's given. Then we can have this angle. That would be nice. Now, well, what we can do actually, we can do two things. Number one, knowing two angles, we can always build the third angle of a triangle. The previous lecture actually was dealing with it. So that's one of the ways. And knowing that third angle, I can actually build it from here. And that would be enough. Now, another way to do it is the following. Somewhere on this line, pick a point, any point, and have this angle from this point. Now, what do you do? You have this line, and you draw parallel to this. And these angles will be congruent to each other because they are corresponding with these parallel and the transverse. Again, two different ways to, to solve this problem. Okay, what's next? Um, construct an isosceles triangle by a base and an angle opposite to it. Isosceles triangle by base and angle at the top. Well, let's think about it this way. You can always draw a median and bisector and altitude in this particular isosceles triangle. Now, if we know the angle at the top, we know it's half. And if we know this segment, we know it's half. So we can always build a triangle ABG, which is the right triangle, by knowing the catheters and the opposite acute angle. We just did it before. 
So basically that's enough. You build this triangle and then you just continue this line to the same distance and you get the third point to the triangle. So basically we reduce the uh, isosceles triangle to, to two uh, right triangles. Construct an isosceles triangle by a leg and an altitude, uh, altitude dropped onto it. So again, you have a isosceles triangle, you have one leg, let's say this one, and an altitude dropped onto it, and this one. Alright, so what can we do about it? Well, since we know the altitude, we know the locus of all the points, uh, of a triangle which have the same side and the same altitude. So what we do is we build AB and on the distance equal to CD our altitude we just draw another line. Now where on this line is point C well, since this is a isosceles triangle, we can take this radius, AB, and basically mark it here, so with the, with the center at B. So from B to A, the distance is exactly the same as from B to C. So that makes our triangle isosceles. And obviously, since point C belongs to the line parallel to AB, on this distance, the altitude is equal to exactly what we need. These are all relatively simple problems. The more difficult one I will leave for exams um, if, 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 you, if you are signing in as a, as a student and enrolled in, in a particular course. All right, um, uh, that with that. Okay, construct equilateral triangle by its altitude. So we have an equilateral triangle and altitude in it. So we know only the altitude. We don't know anything else. Uh, well, here is how we can do it. We just pick any... Uh, sector, uh, any, uh, sorry, any segment um, as the side of an uh, equilateral triangle. Let's say a big one. And you build some equilateral triangle with this side, which you have picked, by three sides. Then, you draw its median and measure the altitude which we have on this median. And then to draw a parallel line to this one. So since this is parallel to this one, this is also equilateral triangle. Well, obviously because all the angles are the same, they are corresponding, all of them are 60 degrees, etc. But in this case, since these are two parallel, then the altitude is common for both of them. So if we measure the altitude equal to ours, so that would be actually our uh, equilateral triangle we're looking for. So we build the builder one, a bigger one, and then cut it to size using uh, an altitude which is given to us. Okay. Construct an angle of 30, 45, 60, and 75 degrees. Okay, 30 degrees. Well, look at this picture. It's already obvious how to construct uh, an angle at uh, 30 degrees. You just construct an equilateral triangle and draw a median in it. Now, you have any equilateral triangle using any segment as a side. And then you just divide one of the segments in half. Let's say this one. 
and connect it with uh, the opposite vertex, and that would be 30 degrees, because these are 60, 60, and 30 again. So we covered 30, and we covered 60. Now, how to do 45 degrees? Okay, you remember that in uh, right isosceles triangle, right isosceles, so you have two legs uh, congruent to each other. Since this is 90 degrees, some of these is 90, but this, since this is isosceles, they are supposed to be equal to 45. So your task is to build isosceles right triangle. How to do it? Have the right angle, two perpendicular to each other lines, have any segment and cut it in both sides exactly the same distance. You connect the points and here is your 45 degrees. And um, Next is 75. Well, um, just not to think about it too much. If you have 30, you can divide it uh, in half using, just, just bisect it, and you'll get 15. Take 15, add 60, you'll get 75. That's easy. All right, that's it for uh, this series of problems. Um, don't forget Unizor, that's your site for homeschooling, for advanced level of uh, mathematics where you're looking for rigorous problems and stuff, stuff like this. And if you are a parent, a responsible parent who really cares about education of, uh, with, uh, of a student, of a child, uh, just use this site to enroll your child into uh, some uh, advanced math courses or anything else, and uh, let them go through exams, check the score in the exams, and you decide whether uh, your children, your child passed or, or failed that particular exam. And if he or she fails, just let them do it again. No problem. All right. Good luck. Thank you very much.